Hello everyone, welcome back to WebDementors YouTube channel and we are watching Learning Bootstrap series. In this video, we are going to see about some of the typographies that is available in Bootstrap that we can use in our website to make our text look good. So the first thing that we can see in the Bootstrap uh, typography is the headings. So we are provided with all the headings that are available in the HTML. So H1 to H6 that is available in HTML is also available in the Bootstrap. And you don't have to actually use the H1 to H6 tags. Instead, you can just use the classes from H1 to H6 for the same styling of those tags. So if you're using some kind of division or paragraph or some other tags and you want a particular heading styling to be applied for that tag, just use this class. So that makes it easy for you to do if you are having multiple classes that is associated with a particular tag. So I'm having uh, the tag of H4 in my blog.html page. So if I use para with the class H4, I'll be having the same result as H4 tag. So you can see that. So that is how you can use it. You, you can actually change it to H3 and we can check it. It's going to give me the H3 tag size. That is the heading 3 tag. So I'm just going to get change it back to H4. So this can be very useful if you're using some other tag or if you're using a tag which has already uh, specified with some CSS properties or stylings that you don't want to lose because you're going to give the H1 tag. So you can use this H1 class for that so the H1 tags properties will be applied to this apart from the sty stylings that you have already defined. So it is also available for the secondary text that you can use. So if you want a secondary text for the heading you can use the small tag or the small class. So it's easy for you to design because you don't have to use any specific stuff so you can use either one of them and it'll be working for you fine so why do I need this secondary text well if you're having a bigger text for the heading tab and uh, you want a small kind of what to say something in the bracket like nothing important I'm just gonna give nothing important and this is how it actually looks I don't want that kind of stuff I just want it to be a secondary text so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create a small tag and use that for this and this is going to give me a nice text element that is added to my heading so you can also use it for something like the post date so if I use like 16 6 2014 most of the time you won't be seeing this because you'll be like having this so this is going to give me a date you can use it in a different way it's about how you use it and how you visualize the design and the next thing that you can see is that the body copy nothing but the actual font size that you can see in the para tag in your HTML so it's having 14 pixel uh, of size and also the line height of 1.428 for anything that is inside the body tag so that is going to change based on kind of uh, tag that you're using in your HTML. So it completely depends on uh, how you're using. So in paragraph receives the bottom margin of the half their computer line height, 10 pixels by default. So this is how you just have to read it and you don't have that kind of a complicated text in here. So it's not difficult to understand of course. So there is another part text is that the lead body copy. So lead is nothing but if you have some particular text in your content that you want to show it as a lead or the important text for someone to read, you can use this particular lead class to state it out. So let me see. Uh, I'm just going to use this particular part of my text to be as the lead. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go here, use the P, and you're just going to close it and power tag that is sorry about that it's confused and I'm going to use the class as head sorry lead 
I'm going to use the class as lead. So I'm going to use the class as lead in here. So when I refresh it, I can see that this text is used as a perfect lead in here. So this is an important text that is actually highlighted in the way that it actually covers the visitors or viewers that are seeing your website. So I don't want this bit big, of course. So I'm going to close it. And we are back to form. And there is a lot of things like small text. So the small text actually reduces the size and uh, not going to provide any kind of extra stylings as you've seen in the heading. So when you're using the small text inside some kind of normal text, it's just going to reduce the size of your text. And in bold, it's nothing but the strong tag that we're using. So strong tag actually increases the boldness of your text. And uh, for example, if I use this strong tag in the same spot, I'm going to get this. And this is how we just actually apply the bold character to your text. And there is italics. I'm just going to change it. EM is for italics. So EM or you can use even the I. I is old but EM is new. So EM actually added the italics to my text. You can also use I and uh, you can also use B tag for strong, actually the bold. And uh, there's a lot other things. That is what I explained in here. You can use B and I for your stylings. So it's not mandatory that you have to use strong and EM for your HTML coding. So the next thing is that align classes. This actually produces your work by heavy margin. So what happens is that I'm having this paragraph and it looks awkward with some bad styling in here. So so I'm going to give the class text justify and this is going to create a nice look for my text so you can see the difference between the first paragraph and the second paragraph you can see that it is aligned properly in such a way that the text covers the entire area so I'm going to apply the same class in uh, the next part as well so text and I'm going to have two para with nice text so now we're going to see the rest of the things so I'm going to center the text in here for my heading and it is centered and you can also send it to the right side the rightmost corner and this is how you do it just use the text right that is going to align the text to the right so this is nothing but just the regular alignment text alignment property in CSS and then the addresses is that we have already seen in our photo section where we have clearly mentioned the address which we can see in the home this is uh, where we have already seen the address tag so if you need to see what address tag does you just go back to the adding footer section and you can see that they are using the same address tag that we have used and they have also used some abbreviation and strong tags inside it so the next thing is the block code so if you are having some kind of text that has been uh, specified or said by someone you want to block code it or quote it all you have to do is that use a block code tag so I'm just going to copy it I'm going to put it for my second text just use it bow the para tag and let's go to the blog and you can see that there is a line in the left side and it is also a little bit bold showing that it is a quote and sent inside by an indent so this shows that there this is a quote by someone you can also add some name to it if it has been sent by someone there are also options given for you in the block code section see there you can have some small text in here so that is the footer of the block code you can see that you can use the footer tag inside the block code so that it can show that who said it or where you took this block code from or code from so that is what I said just before and there is also alternative way that you can see in it there's a class that you can give in order to send it to the right side so I'm having this on the left side if you want to give it to the right side all I have to do is that specify it as block code actually sorry about that my mistake and here we are it's sent on the right side we can use the footer in here to put the text I'm going to refresh it and we can see that 
so just check the class out and we can see that it's on the left side so this is how you use the block code effectively in it that's the end of this video and I hope you find it easy and also useful please like this video and also subscribe to the channel and uh, keep watching the learning bootstrap series so that you can learn bootstrap and if you have any kind of doubts comments suggestions or feedbacks please use the comment section in the video or the facebook page or twitter handle that you can find in the description area of this video but thank you